Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel where I share beginners friendly fashion design tutorials. Please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so you get a notification whenever I post a new video. Also, do not forget to like this video, comment and share it to your friends. In this video, I will be making a short pant with side pockets and elastic band at the back. Uh, it's beginners friendly and I hope it's something you like to learn as well. So make sure you watch to the end. This is the fabric I'll be using for the tutorial. As you can see on my table, it's been folded into two already. So the measurements I'll be needing for this project is the hips measurements, the tie measurements and the full. First of all, I'll draw a starting line up here this is where all my measurements start from and this shot is going to have a two inches band but i'll be minusing 1.5 half inches will be for sewing so any measurement i will enter from now i'll minus 1.5 before i enter the measurement so the next thing is to enter the hip point measurement. The hip point I'm working with is 9 inches. So I'll minus 1.5 for band and then mark the 9 inches. I'll draw a line. And then I'll enter the crotch measurement. So the brush measurement I'm working with is 12 inches. I will still minus the 1.5, then mark 12 inches. For those of you that don't know how to take your crotch measurements, the simplest and the most um, reliable way of taking your crotch measurement is to sit on a flat surface and measure from your waist to the flat surface. Whatever you have is your crotch measurement. And then I'll enter the full length of this shot. And I'll still consider the 1.5 inches for band. The full length I'm working with is 19. Then I'll add 2 inches for hemming allowance. And that will give me 21. Then I will draw a line. So this is my end. And this is the crotch line. And this is the hip point. So I will come to my waistline and enter my hip measurement. The hip measurement I am working with is 48. 48 divided by 4 will give me 12 inches. So I will enter 12 inches at the waistline. I will still enter the same 12 inches at the hip line. And then at the crotch line, I will enter 12 inches as well. And at the crotch line, after marking the 12 inches, I will go out by 2.5 inches. The reason I'm going out by 2.5 is because it's a bigger hips. Then if it was a smaller hips, I will use 2 inches. So I'm using 2.5 because it's a bigger hips. Then I'll draw a line to connect. At the crush, I'll use a ruler to cut from the hip points to the crush. I like using my ruler. You can use your free hand if you are good. And then I'll come to the M line and enter the tie measurement. I'll draw a line to connect the crush to the M. So this is all the measurements for the front pattern. I don't know if you can see the line clearly. For the waistline, I divide the hip measurement by 4 and enter. And enter at the hip line, then enter at the crotch and extend the crotch by 2.5. And then I enter the tie measurement, the lower tie I measured. Then I did not add any allowance to the front because all the allowance will be added to the back pattern when I'm drafting it. And I did not enter the waist measurement 
The reason is because it's going to be an elastic band at the back. So this is just it for the front pattern. For now, then I'll cut it out and bring a fabric in for to make the back pattern. This is the fabric I'm using for the back. I'll just place the, the front pattern on the back, leaving about three inches at the top and also three inches by the side. I'll place it to uh, aligning this other side, the side of it, and then I'll cut out the remaining fabric and take it away. So this is what we have. Now I'll go ahead and extend this line. This is the waistline, the hip, the crotch. This is where the front starts from. So I will just go ahead and enter and add two inches. To the west two inches to the waistline then two inches at the hip point and then at the crotch i'll enter three inches and then two inches at the hem It's very simple, two inches here, two inches here, three inches, two inches. This is because of the size of the person. If it was to be normal, I'll add only uh, 2.5 at the crotch. So I'll connect the line from the waistline to this place, to the hip line. And then I'll cuff it to meet the crush, the new crush. And then I'll go ahead and draw it to the hair. And then I'll come to the waistline at the end here, at the center, and mark two inches up. Then I will draw a line from that two inches that I go up with to meet the front waistline. A diagonal line, a slant, and that's just it. Let me recap. For the back pattern, I go out by two inches here, two inches here. Then at the crotch is three inches, and two inches at the end. Then after drawing the line, I go up by two inches at the waistline and then draw a slant line to meet the front waistline at the side. That's just it. The only difference is the crotch. So I'll cut this out. As you can see, this is what we have. This for the front and this for the back. So I'll go ahead and separate it because as it is now, the two front is joined together and the two back is joined. So now we have four pieces all together. So I'll take, I'll take away the back pattern. So we can work on the pocket, the side pockets that will be attached to the front. For the pocket, at the side waistline, I'll go in by two inches and I'll come down by seven inches. I'll draw a slant line to connect like so. Then I'll cut that off. I'll bring in pieces for the pockets. So this is for my pockets. 
as you can see is these four pieces together and what i cut is seven inches by 12 inches i'm just going to cuff the the down side of the pocket just to give it a little style with this cuff now i'm going to decide that it's facing downward and then the side that is side like this i know that this is the side and this is up and it makes the pocket stylish so i'll just remove two of these pockets i'll keep the two pockets aside i'm going to work on two of it so now i'll place this together like this i make sure the upper part align and then the side also align like so then i'll cut off the excess So we have the two pockets now. Then I'll bring in this one. I'll keep it right side facing each other like this. And I'll do the same thing to this other one. This is it. Then I'll take it to my sewing machine and run a stitch from this point to this point. I'll not sew this side, this straight side. Only from here to here. I'll do the same thing to the two pockets and then I'll bring it back and show you the next step. I finished sewing and this is it. You can see. So now I'll bring in the font pattern and show you how I'll join it. The font pattern now is on the right side. Then I'll pick this one like this. The right side is inside. As you can see. So I'll place it like this the right side is facing each other but the right side of the, the front pattern and the right side of this pocket is facing each other now so i'll stitch it down so this is it i finished sewing it i've gone ahead to sew the second one i'll just flip this over like this here it is we have our pockets in order for this to stay in place just uh, sew in this just all the allowance the remaining allowance and sew it to the pockets not to the main fabric but you see the way it is then you hold the allowance and sew it to the pocket straight down this is it you can see the line here this way i saw i saw it inside This is what we have. Just make sure that the top and the side align. So the next thing I will do now is to top stitch it. And then I'll top stitch this one, this place as well. Here the, I'll just top where the pocket ends. Just the top and this place. I'll do the same thing to the second part of the front pattern. I'm done top stitching. And as you can see, we have our pockets very neat i also iron it i give it a good press i've done it for the both side the next thing i'll do is to sew the crush together so i'll keep this right side facing each other like this so it's done the crotch and then i'll do the same thing for the back pattern i'll stitch the crush down and then i'll bring it back for the next step this is something I would have done before fixing the pocket, but it's still not late. I'm going to do it now. It's to impute my darts on my front pattern. So I'll measure my bust span measurements divided by two and mark it starting from the crotch side. Just have to lose this pocket a little bit and impute the darts. Then I'll mark uh, half inches on both sides. The dart is going to be five inches long. So I'll stitch it up to five inch. Try and impute your dart before fixing the pockets. We are making your own shorts. I'll do the same thing to this one as well. And I'll sew it down. Then I'll go ahead and sew the crotch the way I showed you. This is it. I've impute the dart. 
And I also go ahead and sew the crotch, as you can see. And I also sew the crotch for the back. This is it. And there will be no need for that for the back because I'm using elastic band. The next thing we'll do is to join these together. So first of all, I'll keep the back pattern and then I'll place the front pattern on top of the back pattern with the right side facing each other. And I'll sew down the side, straight down to the end. I'll leave like half an inch at the top so I can sew in my band. I'll do the same thing to this other side. So I've sewed this side, the both side, and now I'll go over and sew the inseam. That's from the crotch to the end. I'm going to join it at the crotch and make sure that the two crotch align very well, like this. And then I'll sew it down to the end. Then I'll sew this side to the end as well. So I've finished stitching the crotch. The next thing I'll do is to cut out the band. First of all, I'll measure out, I'll measure the waist to know the length of the band I'm cutting. I have cut out the band and I went ahead to iron a paper stay on it. I cut it 2.5 inches on fold. Two and a half inches on fold. And then I folded in half inch on both sides. That will be for the sewing. I'll bring in the short and show you how I'll fix it. This is it. First of all, I'll fix the front. This is for the front. I'll just place it and then I'll sew it down. I actually cut it the same size with the back, so I'll trim it off after I finish sewing. So I'll go ahead and stitch it now. So this is the front band. I fix the front. I'll trim off the excess. I'll go ahead and fix the back. Just keep it. On the back side, I open up the band and place it on the wrong side of the fabric. Then I will stitch it. I will stitch it down. Just open it like this, unlike the front that was sewn together. This one, you oh, first of all open it like this. So I will stitch it down to the end. Then I will show you what next to do. This is it. I finished stitching it. So the next thing I will do now. Okay, it has some excess, so I'll just trim it off. It's for me to um, fix the elastic first before I cover the band. To fix the elastic, I'll take the waist measurement and then I'll measure what I have here at the front, the front band. I'll take whatever measurement I have here. I have about um, 20 and half. 20, 21, I have 21 here. So I will minus 21 from the original waist measurement. So the original waist measurement is um, 44. And here, the front already we have um, 21 here. I will minus the 21 from the original waist measurement, which is 44. And the remaining one will be 23. So I will still minus one again. And it will remain 22. So I will cut my elastic 22 inches long. I don't know if you understand me. The original waist measurement is 44. And what I have for the front um, measurements here is 21. So 21 minus 44 will give me 23. So since it is band, it is elastic that I'm using. And you know elastic is, um, is elastic now. It draws on its own. So I'll have to minus one. So I'll go ahead and stitch this to this place. Stitch the this other side of the elastic to the beginning of this band. I'll be ending. Okay. And then I'll fix it to this other side. I'll just stitch it like this. Just here. And then I'll stitch this side as well. And then after that, I'll cover the band. After I stitch it, I will now cover the band and turn it to the right side and sew it down. So I finished fixing the band. Now I will just close up this place that was open 
and I'll close off this other side too. And after I close off, I'll fold to the end. After folding the end, that will be all. I finished stitching and this is what we have. It came out really nice. I've also gone ahead to make a kimono jacket for the shorts. So if you want to know how I made this kimono jacket, watch out for my next video. If you have any question, drop it on the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and turn on the bell icon so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Also, don't forget to like this video, comment and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye.